Welcome back everyone to your MySQL tutorial. It's kind of confusing. Is it yours or is it mine? Eh, anyways, this video we're going to be talking about the text data type. The text data type has actually not been discussed yet in this series, so something new! Ooh. Now, the text data type is a little bit different than the varchar data type because the varchar data type, you can fit all possible range of values using one data type. But with text, it's actually split into four different data types depending on the size that you want. So we have text, and then we have tiny text, so that'd be smaller than text, but I'll just put it here. Since this is kind of like the, uh, <laughs> what, what they all have in common. Now the max size for these is 255, 65535. Five. This one's about 16 million and about 4 billion. So as you can tell, these things can store a ton of data. <laughs> now this is measured in bytes. Now working with a text data type works exactly the same way as working with a varchar data type. The easiest way to explain text data types is to compare it with a varchar data type to see the primary differences. So that is what I'm going to get into now. The very first difference is that the text data types are not limited by the maximum row size in MySQL. So in the previous video we said that the max row limit was 65535 bytes. But you saw that some of the text data types allowed for much more than that. So how is that? Well, with the text data types, the data is actually stored elsewhere. So let's say this is our table. We will store our data over here and then reference that data over here. That's all behind the scenes to us though. It doesn't look any different. It's not used any different. This is all just the magic behind it. <laughs> and what that means is that over here, there's only a maximum of 12 bytes used. So if you continually find yourself hitting this limit, it might be useful if you implement a text data type so that way our data can be elsewhere and we save some space. That being said, there's also text data types that are larger than the maximum of varchar. So if for any reason varchar does not give you enough space to store the string you want to store in it, you can use a text data type and store way more. And lastly, a text column does not allow for a default other than null. So the only option for the default for a text column is null. But for varchar, we can do anything we want. So in summary, if you need more data in your rows, you can use text to separate it. Or if you need more data than the maximum varchar, you can use text. And finally, you can set a default in varchar that's not null, but you can't do that in text. So if any of those situations fit what you need, then you would know that you need to switch over to text or to varchar. In general, if you're not overly convinced you need to switch to text, then varchar will probably do just fine. Another thing I wanted to mention to you is that these text data types are sometimes called clobs. As stupid as that sounds. <laughs> so a clob stands for character large object. There's other types of large objects, which we may discuss in the upcoming videos, but this is one. So if someone's talking about clobs, <laughs> now you're not gonna sound like an idiot. At least you'll know what they're talking about. <laughs> so thanks guys. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you liked it, be sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.